Hey guys, so for today, I'm coming at you with another product review, or more like a first impression. I've been wanting to review this product for a while, and then I finally ordered it from South Korea, and it finally came. This product's been circulating in the K-beauty community for a while, but I finally get my hands on it. And it is the Peri Peri Inky, uh, Airy Ink Velvet Tint. And I've been wanting to try this for so long because I really have never really tried the Peri Peri Lip Tint and I know they're really really popular so I finally got them. And I'm gonna take you guys around with me today to see whether this product is long lasting, whether it smudges or just like do a first impression on it. And tonight I'm gonna do lip swatches so you guys can see the color of each of the colors that I picked. So yeah, let's just get into it. Yep, so I ordered three colors. So the colors that I picked are, first of all, the Heart Grapefruit. This is number one. And this is, the second one is the orange, eh, Pretty Orange Pink. Yep, this one is in number two. In the last one, I ordered the Elf Light Rose. This one is in number five. Oh, the packaging is so adorable. Can you guys see? It's like a frosted plastic -y material. Okay, I'm gonna do the swatch on the Heart Street Fruit, number one. As you guys can see, the color is in... It looks really like reddish, reddish orange on the on camera, but in person it looks kind of slightly pink as well. So this is like a grapefruit color, a very summery color. And the second one is the pretty orange. Similar packaging. Hmm. On the outside, they look quite similar. Oh, never mind. This one looks slightly pinkier. Kind of actually has a slight like baby product smell, but it's not like overpowering. So I don't find it offensive, but if you are concerned with fragrance, that's what it smells like to me. So this is the color. It's a slightly pinkier version of this one. This one is a more like bright summer coral color. While this one's more of like a subtle, like pinky coral color. I'm sorry, I really suck at describing colors, but as you guys can totally see, it's quite clear that these two are quite different. So the last color is the Elf Light Rose. I'm really excited about this color because I've never really had like a mauve color on my makeup. Well, I don't really have a mauve lip tint. It's a more nude lip color. It's a very pink color, definitely not leaning towards the nude side. It's a more subtle and wearable everyday pink, I guess. Yeah, but I really want to pick like a different like color range so I can totally see like if the formulas are different between them. But yeah. So far, these are the colors. They're so, so pretty. I'm really excited. So, for today, I'm not sure which one I want to apply, actually. Hmm. I might try the pink orange for today. The applicator itself is like a dome foot applicator. I think because it's angled, it's gonna make it like quite easy to actually apply the lip tint. So, yeah, that's really nice. It's a really pretty color. I really like this color. Initial application. I can see that the formula is a little bit creamy. Similar to the NYX or like the Body Shop lip cream that I've tried recently. And it feels comfortable on the lips. It's not drying at all. However, it my lips are slightly dry today so I can see that like the cream is kind of clinging on to some of my dry patches so I think you really need to exfoliate when you're wearing this the color is definitely translating to my lips and it does feel velvety so I think that's nice my lips does not feel dry at all but yeah that was one coat I wonder if it's buildable I might try and put like a second coat just to see whether we can build this up Oh. I got it on my nose. Oh no. It's red now. Yeah. 
I'm not sure if it's translating into camera, but the color is quite buildable actually. The second coat makes it look very, very vibrant. So guys, that is the first part of this video. So I'm gonna see whether today this lip tint, lip product, is gonna last a long time and whether the color stays on my lip and whether it makes my lip dry throughout the day. So let's go. Hey guys, so it's about 1.30 right now and it's been like two and a half hours since I applied this lipstick. And I've been eating and like drinking and apparently the color is still there and my lips not dry at all so that's pretty cool. Yeah and mine's all gone so yeah. you can see. You should get this one. It's been about four hours and the color is fading but it's still there. Kind of, right? You yeah. can still see it, right? Yeah. because it's like no one here so like it's been like about six hours since I applied this lipstick I mean lip tint I've been like eating and like um, licking my lips and like drinking a lot and the color is not there anymore maybe it seems like on camera it seems like there's a little bit of tint but I think all the colors are practically gone so it's not like an all-day lip tint you eventually need to reply this in the middle of the day so it's not that big of a deal for me I still think that it's really comfortable on the lip, doesn't dry my lip out and I think it might be suitable for the winter as well because it doesn't make my lips all cracky and stuff so I approve! Hey guys, so if you guys can tell it's the next morning I'm sorry I did promise you guys I'll do an update um, last night however I got a really really bad like acid reflux and if you ever had acid reflux before you know how bad it is and it was lasting till like this morning so I was still in pain until about two hours ago but thank god now it's all settled down so I'm gonna continue with the video with the swatches and the application on my lip so you guys can see the colors that I'm talking about so the last two colors that I have not shown you guys on my lips are actually the Number one, I think it was the grapefruit one, and number five, the elf light rose one, if I'm not mistaken. I can't get over how weird the scent is. At first I thought there won't be any scent, but there's like a weird like silicone baby smell to it. And I tried the number two yesterday, so I'm going to try number one and number five. So I'm going to start with number one, the heart grapefruit. Oh, do you guys see? It's really vibrant. Oh my gosh, look how vibrant that is. Hmm, it's redder than I expected it to be, to be honest. I really like this applicator, seriously. Helps me like shave my cupids well better. Mm. That is layer number one. The color itself, like with the first layer, compared to the I have lip tint all over me now. But yeah, this color compared to the pink orange one, the number two that I tried yesterday, this one is way more vibrant. And I don't really think I need two coats actually. It's already quite pigmented on its own, but let me just see if I can actually intensify the color by adding a second layer to it. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. This is straight up like red. It looks really orange on camera for some reason. It's like really like, it looks like a really orangey red in person. More towards the red side. For some reason on camera it looks kind of orange. It's actually really red in person, so... I like this color. Mm. Mm, initial application, there's definitely some transfer. However, I forgot to mention to you guys, but throughout the day, 
the feeling of like velvet and like um, creaminess on your lips will disappear. I think they just rub off, but it does leave like a really good amount of tint and it lasts quite a long time. So for my lip remover, I'm just going to use the Maybelline Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. It's the one with this like oil and liquid and you just shake it up. You see, these are like easily removable. Huh. It is. Hmm, that's really nice. It's so easy to remove. So for the last lip swatch, I'm going to do the number five. This color. I'm really, really excited about this color. Hmm. Oh, wow. It's way pinkier on my lip. The color is way pinkier on my lips compared to like the color that I'm seeing on the doe foot applicator. I was not expecting this kind of color to come out. I'm not sure how I feel about this color to be honest. It's, I don't think you can really see it on camera, but it's like a less vibrant like pink color. It's very cool tone in my opinion and it's not really as nude as I was expecting it to be. Oh, I'm kind of, I'm a little bit disappointed to be honest with the color for this one. I was expecting it to be more nude and um, kind of like a brownish pink color. Anyway, I'm just gonna apply a second layer to see if I can actually intensify the color. No, same color. It's not bad. It's really, really not bad, but I was just not expecting to have that color payoff looking at the colors on the website. So these are my final thoughts on this product. Um, it's quite long lasting and leaves a really pretty tint behind. The price is quite inexpensive too and the pigmentation is really really good and also it does not dry up my lips so overall I give it a 4 out of 5 star rating. So that's it for my video today. Please if you have any other questions regarding this pro lip product, leave it on the comments down below and please like this video if you like it and if it helps you decide whether you want this lip product or not and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future content so yeah have a great day guys